What's your opinion on Trump's executive order for free speech on college campuses? One, there is no such executive order yet. And I'll believe it when I see it, and we'll see what it actually is, who it covers, how it, how it analyzes it. But generally, I'm opposed to it. Generally, I'm opposed to it. The government's job is to not to tell universities, which are still semi, or in many cases, semi-private property, but even the state universities should be treated as if they're to some extent private property, and to tell them which speaker they can and which they can. How do you implement a free speech for campus thing? You have equal time for Republicans and conservatives. What about libertarians? What about uh, the Green Party? What about animal rights people? What about objectivists? What about Nazis? I mean, how do you, how do you allocate the time? How do you determine that? The job of the government is that when there are riots, when there's violence that prevents somebody from speaking, the government must protect that person's ability to speak, assuming it's on private property or that it's in. So when Ben Shapiro was invited to Berkeley, couldn't speak because of violence, that's where the government needs to enter, needs to make sure Ben's... But the fact that Ben Shapiro is disinvited from a university... It, that is the right of the university. Now, that's bad and wrong, but it is the right of the university. And, of course, this... F now, I know the universities get a lot of money from the government. The universities are quasi-government institutions. All of that is true. But the solution to that is to eliminate the funding to the universities, not to use the fact of the funding to now amass layer upon layer upon layer of demands on the university to fit some political agenda. Now, I know the left has done this already with Title IX and, and a lot of other things where they've used government funding in order to try to cram down employment laws and anti-discrimination stuff and all things like that. But that's bad. That is bad that the left has done that. And it's wrong for the right to do the same thing, even if I agree more with the rights agenda, if I agree more. So no, I do not think the funding of universities should be an excuse for the government to then go in and tell the universities how to run themselves. The solution is to eliminate the funding. It's just the same as. I don't believe the cronyism by, let's say there is cronyism by Facebook and Amazon and Google and so on, is a justification of the government to then tell them how to run their business. The solution to cronyism is to stop it. It's to stop the corruption, to stop subsidies, to stop the, the, the relationship with government and business, not to use the cronyism to expand government power. I mean, imagine now the government becomes the arbiter of who can speak and who can't speak on American campuses. Well, but this is where we want to head with regulating Facebook and regulating Google and regulating YouTube and all these things regulating what they can and cannot say and how the search results should be. Who, who will decide that? Who will decide that? A bunch of bureaucrats? A collection of bureaucrats? How do you do that? And whereas you could somehow make the argument, it's a wrong argument, it's an evil argument, that there is monopoly power of the, on, on the internet. There's no monopoly power in universities. There are thousands of universities in the United States. If I can't speak in one, I can probably speak in another. Again, the government should stop funding universities. The government should stop student loans. The government should stop student aid. The government should get out of all businesses related to regulating, controlling, and funding the universities. There, this experiment has been a massive, unmitigated disaster, and it should end. The solution is not now to regulate from the right.